取到这剑。Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. We're in the Shinjuku Pseudo Singularity. Let's head off to the Roost to figure out what's up with the Transforming Vagabond. Recommended level 83. So, when it says recommended level, is it implying that it's recommending me to have level 83 servants? Because that doesn't make much sense for the fact that most of them that you're going to be using cap out at, like, 80. Whoa, that's a new one. I've never seen that one. Where you get that one from? I never... Hmm. White Vessel's Command Seal. Remove one debuff from yourself while attack... Oh, you know what? That might be from the new event. That's why. The one that I couldn't get to. Okay. Sorry, did that just say remove one debuff from yourself? Are you for real? Wow. Wow, that's actually pretty dope. That's actually really good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill Archer. Okay. Um, sure. Sure, sure, sure. This should be good. Okay. Let's go. Section 9. Transforming Vagabond, or Vagabond no Henshin. So, the Berserker of Shinjuku is gone. At the risk of sounding a bit cliché, it seems we've finally reached the beginning of the end. I've checked my calculations countless times. They appear correct. Time continues to flow, pooling at a single point. Now then, I believe Assassin was next. Zerker of Shinjuku is gone. Or rather, I killed him. I know. I also know how you ran away with your tail between your legs. Wow, word travels fast. You also know why I did that. Of course, Assassin told you to. I don't get it. Why, why risk the danger of getting close to them? Assassin may be chivalrous, but he is also very much a phantom spirit. A man like that, who always pretends to be someone he's not, will never become a heroic spirit. Just ignore the fact that he's in my party. So we cannot resist the temptation to observe heroes up close and personal, in order to determine if they are worth his transforming into them or not. It's too risky. You ask me, it's like handing your head over to the enemy. It is indeed risky. It's also glorious and arrogant. He takes everything from his targets and tramples it, and if... As if to relieve the gloom he felt while alive. However, his process is entirely too unclear. Assassin has decided to kill the Chaldean Master. But when? How? Even I don't know. With his innate chivalry and doppelganger nature mixed together. Perhaps not even he understands his own thoughts. A man like him who could, and would, kill someone he's talking to at any mo possible moment is a monster. He has become an irredeemable psychotic killer. It was like an evil sentient time bomb that could go off at any moment, eh? He would hate to be interrupted. Let's wait and see how this plays out. I have my own things I must look into. I'm surprised you haven't already turned over every stone there is. There's a new variable to consider, one that steadfastly defies quantification and predictability. Emya, why don't you go take a walk around Shinjuku and she see how Shakespeare's craft is coming along? According to my calculations, the King Lear monster should soon be complete. King Lear, huh? What an interesting choice. I wonder what sort of monster a crazed old man like him will turn into here in Shinjuku. Alright, I'll go take a look. Now it should be about time to make your entrance. You can hide, but traces of your presence remain. You could have erased them if you put your mind to it, but since you let me, you're clearly choosing to make yourself known. My rival, my sworn enemy, my bane. I've waited for this moment for what feels like eternity. 
The League of Phantom Fiends, the barrel, me, the phantom spirits, and all of it, was to set the stage for your entrance, Sherlock Holmes. Now they're making it explicitly clear who that is, pretty much. Ah, so this is the roost you mentioned. It rather reeks of hamburgers, doesn't it? Orc pork! I see I'm not very welcome here. I suppose I can't blame you, given what I look like. If you don't like it, Assassin, you're free to leave or to return to your spirit form. John, you should leave regardless. Return to spirit form while you're at it. Now, now, the important thing is that we managed to defeat the Berserk of Shinjuku. I think this calls for a celebratory toast. I'll start up the toaster. <laughs> no thanks, I'm beat. I just want to rest. I need to take care of my Curazer altar. The rest of you figure out what to do with yourselves. I'm a miner. I see. Well, we certainly wouldn't want to break the law, would we? If you like, I would be glad to join you for a drink. I knew you'd come through, Hassan. Would you like a beer? Low malt beer? Whiskey? Whiskey would be grand. In that case, I believe I shall have a beer, or rather a cheap low malt beer from a no-name brewery. Moriarty would be an IPA guy. He would absolutely be the guy to be like, Mmm, I got this rare IPA that I only, I, I'm going to hold on to for the right time. I can't say it's delicious, but it's not terrible either. It's perfectly middle of the road. What an odd thing to focus on. All right, Hassan, bottoms up. Uh, you are too kind. I, I'm a big fan of bro, Hassan. Ah, uh, that hits the spot. I love being 50-ish. You're doing great, Master. I hope you know that. Wait, what's happening? You know, you shouldn't take your youth for granted. Oh, he slapped me on the back. Before you know it, your back will hurt all the time, your eyes will be tired, you'll have no energy. So you know what I said then? That's right. Society's the real criminal here. I said I should made this broken system in the first place, I said. So I swept it all under the rug and made off with more than half of the state. I really pulled a fast one on him. <laughs> I'm the best. I did not know that servants could get drunk. We want to, yes. How strange. He seems like a harmless old man when intoxicated. You all know what sort of man this Archer of Shinjuku is. You're gonna tell us he's our enemy, right? We already know that. Claims to have amnesia. You don't actually believe something so absurd, do you? It really doesn't matter, honestly. I see. How gracious of you. I must say, Master, you are a most admirable man. Not only prevented the incineration of humanity, you even came here to resolve this small singularity. I, w I wouldn't say it's small. Oh, but it is, for that matter. Shinjuku itself is not even worthy of being saved. Shinjuku in 1999 was a perfectly ordinary city full of squalor and, squalor and fever. Just like any other city. If humanity had been completely incinerated, then this distortion would also have some meaning. But you've already taken care of that. As such, this distortion will disappear on its own one day. Even if the Holy Grail were used, this hell wouldn't last a month. That may be, but the incineration was only just averted. Everything could still fall apart starting here. Especially when we still don't know who we're up against or what they want. The destruction of this planet. Huh? Uh, Hassan? I heard about it before. What the League of Phantom Fiends wants is utter devastation. To smash apart this entire planet. Come now, you're just making up nonsense. There's no way that could actually happen. I agree. But the fact remains, that is their objective. Hmm, Count of Monte Cristo, huh? Seeker of Vengeance said the same thing? <laughs> no, it's, it's still nonsense. Even at full power, Top Servant's Noble Phantasm almost certainly wouldn't break an entire planet apart. And even if an anti-planet Noble Phantasm existed on paper, it wouldn't be enough to destroy this one. Shh. Please be quiet. Hassan? It seems that someone is skulking around this building. Would you mind investigating it, Lady Mash? Hey, I'm 
Sorry, but I can't seem to find anything. Mass checks the perimeter at regular intervals. If there was anything suspicious out there, we'd know. So they have concealed their presence. This may be an assassin at work. Let's go take a look, Master. Got it. Let's go. Oh, the rest of you, please stay put. The two of us shall go. Oh my god, you're going to... You're not Hassan. You're going to be the assassin in disguise. I'm calling it now. How strange. There's no one here. I thought as much, thank goodness. Nonetheless, this accomplishes what I set out to do. Yep. What do you mean? How should I explain it? Hold it. Who are you? Hassan? Trust is something accumulated over time. Anyone who would trust a stranger unconditionally is nothing but a fool. First, they must observe the other person carefully, and then they m and overcome numerous hardships together. Then and only then can two people be bonded as true friends and comrades. Now, Master, let me ask you, am I one such person? Oh no, his spirit origin values. Master, get out of there. That's not Hassan. Nope, sorry. Oh god, I knew it. What's your deal? You're hilarious. I was gonna kill you, but I changed my mind. This will be a lot more fun with a hostage. Who are you? Did you just transform? It's nothing like that. You were Hassan. You had his voice, his demeanor, even Shaitan's arm. It's only so far shapeshifting can go. You were more like... Oh, scary! More like what, Da Vinci? More like his shadow, you say? A doppelganger. Hey, you got it. I might look chivalrous. I might even be chivalrous, but on the inside? I can't go around telling you. Anyway, I'm gonna hold on to Master here for a while. No. Interesting. Yeah, real interesting. Ah, the beautiful duo. So you did figure out it was me. You know, I figured you all had my number all along, but just couldn't resist the surprise reveal. Sorry about that. If you don't get your nasty-ass breath out of Master's face, I'm gonna burn you alive. Oh, very nice. That is truly beautiful, murderous intent in your eyes. As a thrill-seeking gentleman, this is the kind of excitement I crave. But also speaking as a gentleman, it'll be rude and stuff to fight here. So on that note, I'll be waiting with your dear Master for you to join us elsewhere. You're not getting away! Oh! He is, though. Well, you might not believe it, but I'm faster than I look. Go ahead. Try and catch me if you can. Come on, ice bitch queen, do something. Silence, man dog. I'll take Curie's or Alter. Try to keep up with us. You don't gotta tell me twice. What about the drunk old fart? Who cares? Hmm. A cheeky bitch. Oh, jeez. You're a very sweary fellow. Hmm. Uh, looks like Altria Alter's catching up. Guess I gotta buy some time. Hey, it's these guys again. So they're just at your beck and call? Hornets. You know what? This looks like it'll be a pretty good show. Artoria! What? I've got orders for you. Very well. Then give me your orders, Master. Knowing you, I'm certain you can assess the situation calmly no matter the circumstances. Here come the hornets. Hit him with your sword. That's it, that's it, that's that's the instructions. Even though, actually, that's not the instructions, because that's not a good thing to do. Okay. So we got two here. Start off with getting some, uh, some meter. I should have definitely done that on the second one, but that's okay. We'll get tons of stars. God, her moveset is cool. Just shooting her with the guns. Something about that just strikes me as ridiculously comedic. Wow. Wow, that was some damage, huh? Alright. Battle dosa dos. You have a lot, actually. So, actually, let's try. How much do you give? Oh, oh. That's just enough. Alright, so then you can do Buster Up. Not Buster, yeah, Buster Up. Oh, that also gives meter. Well, of course. 
Um, Kerr's Blessing. Okay, let's see here. Enables target to receive additional effects from Noble Phantasm. Decrease defense and increase Noble Phantasm game for allies. Yep. Okay. Also go attack up for everyone. Do defense down on the guy in the back. And uh, let's try and get more Arresh attacks. We do. That's good. Let's do this. Okay. This is going to mean more to me now. Because now I know what she actually does. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Wow, that did lots of damage, huh? Nice. Okay. Hey, my bond with Fujine half increased. That's why I brought her here. I really hope Fujine is treated as chaotic. I didn't actually... I don't usually don't check their, their stuff, but if there's one character that deserves the tag chaotic, it would be her. I mean, I know it's not actually her, but... Into the alley. Got a saber. Interesting. Um, let's go with... Hmm. Let's see. You know what? Let's get, let's get Nobunaga. I haven't really seen much of Nobunaga, so... Let's go with kill saber. Yeah, because I haven't actually seen much of how Nobunaga goes... She naked? Jeez, woman, cover up. Um, Buster and Noble Phantasm for yourself. Nice, nice. Okay. Cool. Alright. Again, if there's any party that gets, you know, good numbers, it's this one, so. Sabres? I fe don't fear at all. This ends now. I just can't believe you were able to give orders under these circumstances. You're really something. My hat's off to you. No joke. Uh oh, I'm not wearing a hat. In fact, this is too much fun to stop here. And look, here comes Shakespeare's monsters ready at last. Go on, show these guys what you've got. Shakespeare's monsters? What do we got here? I'm stacking magical energy approaching you at high speeds. It appears to be a Spriggan. Just what we needed. Hang on, that's not a Spriggan. It's clearly based on one, but the design is different. That's... Eh, it looks like the first one out is King Lear. Like, King Lear? It's in Shakespeare's play? The very same. All right, your majesty, why don't you go sock that sad old lunatic a good one? That thing's no King Lear. I did not think we'd get to the point where we're fighting... ...living copies of Shakespeare plays, but... That's fate. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well, let's start by getting... Stars for Emiya, because... That's something that can lead to big hits. King's Lament. Uh-oh. That could hurt. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold off then. Instead get... Ah, I want more stars. Okay, so then we'll go... Get meter and stars. I just want a bunch of stars so that Emya can do some cool stuff. Oof. Oh, that hurts. Oh, now's your time to do it. Okay. We're gonna attack up on everyone. We'll go. Um, let's see here. What else do you have? This is just double phantasm. Ah, uh, we'll put that on to see if you can get back some meter when you use it. Um, apply divine. Sea star gather rate. Definitely don't want that. This gives gather rate. Up. We don't want gather rate. Okay, so let's go. Oh, there's like, yeah, there's like no way we'll get a crit. That's fine. Whatever. We'll use this while we can. 
little attack down will definitely be useful. If we hit that 10%, I'll be happy. Well, no, we didn't. Boy, you are a bulky, bulky, bulky boy. Can you stop buffing yourself? I'm mildly terrified. Oh, now we now we get the 80s and stuff. Let's do this. Let's do that big unga bunga damage. Come on, 80. Yes! Gracias for the big unga bunga. Oh my god. Stop, sir. You no, no. Uh. Uh. Somebody's going to die. But let's do a big combo with you. You don't know if you count as divine, but we'll see. Okay, let's try. Hopefully it's single hit. Hey, stupid. Good job, idiot. Boy, you just will not stop, huh? So close. It's okay, we'll probably still win once we do this. You can do 98, right? We'll probably get one crit in there. Maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, no. If we got one more crit, we would have done it. Or crit specifically on the buster. Okay. What's up, Robin Hood? If we want, we could finish this. Ironically. Can we... Ah, we can poison the stone statue. That doesn't even make sense. Do this. See, see how big... Let's see how big his number can get if we use it. Nice, nice. That's a good amount. All right. <laughs> Want to go to a restaurant? Buddy. Buddy. We're in Shinjuku. All the food here is good. Excalibur Morgan. Got him. Well, yes, but you push yourself too hard to take him down too quickly. Now you're exhausted. So you're a fool if you think I would lose to a miserable outlaw like... And that was an even better show than I'd hoped. But I think it's time for curtain call now. Master! I am in the air so high! Adios, amigos! And bye-bye, everyone at Caldia. Signal's being jammed. Master, please... It's... If... Ah, well, this is a twist. Did this is the first where we are like incapacitated and taken away, huh? Oh, the barrel tower, the great prison break. Sounds good. We uh, let's get the unknown servant. Oh, I sure wonder who that could be. I wonder. Section 10, The Great Prison Break. A message? A damned archer. I can't believe he put Master in danger just to draw me out. No, that's not it. He already had an idea of who I am. In which case, he's already deduced my true name and from that my identity. I don't like taking center stage myself, even less if he's my opponent. At any rate, I suppose I'll go alleviate Master's concerns. Y'all ever hear about that hope? 
Morning, right, sunshine. Where am I? I bet you're wondering where you are right now. This is the Barrel, the headquarters of the League of Phantom Fiends. Hmm? Don't worry, I'm pretty sure you're not hurt. You'll end up a lot more than hurt if you try to escape, though. Anyway, the truth is, I just brought you here on a lark. Sorry in advance if the boss kills you. Your boss. Yep, our boss, the embodiment of evil itself, the real Archer Shinjuku. You're not the same person, are you? That is correct. I am evil and he is good. Thanks to the Holy Grail's power, we, no, I, managed to tear out all that was good and kind in me. Such things would only be a hindrance in my battle against my rival. However, I did not expect that such deterious, such detritus would gain a consciousness of its own in the process. Let alone that it would run off and attempt to impede us. Of course, he was little more than a minor pest scurrying around until you showed up. Now the Berserker of Shinjuku has been defeated and Ryder shows no signs of returning. Nonetheless, we still have two servants at our disposal, and the plan will proceed without issue. Plan to destroy the planet? Though you do know. It is just as you imagined, and our goal is nothing less than the complete and total annihilation of the planet. You think it impossible? I assure you it is well within my capability. I firmly believe that, and so do those who follow me. The world will end in the year 1999. What was once fanciful nonsense will become harsh reality. Why would you do that, though? Yes, my motive. Hmm. I suppose it's because I'm a mathematician. I've calculated the power needed to destroy the planet. So why wouldn't I want to test my equation to see if I was correct? I see you're having trouble accepting my reason. I suppose I can't blame you. This is simply what it is to be a mathematician. I am proud to be evil and despise those who defy me. I prefer Kaldia not to interfere. If I killed you, they'd just send another master. Let's make a deal, Tanner. I shall send you back to Kaldia. In return, Kaldia leaves us alone. Uh... No? Perhaps you're right. However, I believe a genius of Leonardo da Vinci's caliber should soon realize just what the destruction of the planet truly signifies. At any rate, feel free to take your time and think it over. There's no reason to kill you anytime soon. Damn, talk about having the devil's own luck. You're a hell of a guy, you know that? Anyway, you just sit tight for a while, alright? I know, why don't you keep him company? He's the kind of guy who goes nuts without someone around anyway. He'll be happy to talk to you. Who? Why, if it isn't the wonderful master of Caldia, it's me, William Shakespeare. It has been quite some time, no? What's with those chains, though? I'm told they're specifically designed to hold servants. As a caster, there's little I can do about them. The truth is, when they captured me, they spent the whole day torturing me. Sweet are the uses of adversity, my foot. Ah, it's horrible. Oh yeah, Shakespeare's totally telling the truth there. He only agreed to make King Lear's for us recently after he was tortured. I'm just glad to be of service, you piece of dung. How about I torture you even more painfully next time and you make, uh... How about Macbeth? The guy was immortal, right? Great, can't wait to get started. A fine mess this is. At any rate, I'm surprised to see you here. How can we escape? Unfortunately, as you can see, I'm not much in a position to be of any use in that regard. While you may be similarly restrained as a human, I'm afraid it would be difficult for you too. There are many hornets patrolling the grounds along with the multitude of King Lears I have been forced to create. At least I finally just about run out of sentences praising or decrying the latter. Ah, I'm so sorry, Sir Tanner. If only I hadn't written so many historical masterpieces. Glad to see you're still you, bud. Hmm? <laughs> I must say, I'm curious why you are gazing at me so fondly, but I'm glad to see you in good health. Still, from what little I heard, it was quite the foolish escapade. You're being captured and all. Oh, I'm not being critical of you, Sir Tanner. I'm talking about the Archer of Shinjuku. It would be foolish to believe he didn't at least have some idea of the Assassin of Shinjuku's ability. 
But in that case, why wouldn't he be wearing a facade after he appeared out of nowhere? That is uh, just definitely a bit strange. Well then, why don't we look at this from a new angle, yes, as a detective might? If it makes no sense for him to have believed that Hassan was who he claimed, then perhaps he was aware of his true identity all along. At first glance, this would appear to be a betrayal on his part. Mm, maybe not. He must have been quite the servant for you to trust him so explicitly. Implicitly, rather. I don't suppose he entrusted anything to you, say a letter. Did he? Doing great, Master. I hope you know that. Slap, slap. No. Wait, wait. <gasps> Did he slap a dumb kick me sign on my back? Excellent. Then let us see what he had to say, hmm? Don't worry, your life is not in danger. Help is sure to come. When it does, they will explain everything. My deepest apologies for frightening you. That's all it says. We may not have betrayed you, but there's still many questions remaining. Perhaps I can answer them. Who goes there? Hey, my name is Edmund Dantes. Some call me the Count of Monte Cristo. Count of Monte Cristo? <laughs> every time, every time it's he says that. Keep your voice low, Tanner. The Archer of Shinjuku sent me to help you. Or rather, he set me up so I would have no choice. At any rate, we need to hurry. Shakespeare, I wish I could rescue you too, but I'm afraid I'll have to leave you behind. Ah, oh, what a tragedy! Though I do understand your position. B -b 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 but No, no, it's quite all right. I may be subjected to more torture, but I doubt they'll kill me for a while yet. Right now, your safety is of the utmost importance, uh, Sir Tanner. Worry not about me, but do come rescue me later when you can. I know. Good luck, Shakespeare. And to you! Oh, well, we sure stealthed it up. Seems we've been found out. Hurry, Master, and don't worry. This security's a mere trifle for me. Uh-oh, here comes a King Lear. Shakespeare, why do you have to go and write these things into existence? Sorry, Master, but I'm afraid I'm not at my best right now. Hope you can figure out a way out of this. Well, we'll fight. We will do the fighting. Now, when you say you're not at your best, does that mean that you are worse than what it would be if I had you as a servant? Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Shisama. Okay. Um, well, let's take out the guy in front. We do get to see his cool back sprite, at least. I love that idle sprite, and it's a bit of a shame that the, um, the summer costume gets rid of it. Okay. Um, well, honestly, start with this. I am the born of my soul. So, I pray. I'll live late walk. A little attack down is always welcome, and wow, these guys are defensive. Okay. Thankfully, it seems if I use the Hornet B, if I get rid of him last, it, um, it doesn't seem to actually count as the handoff. We'll see. I'm gonna use this just to get, get through him and maybe get back meter. I, I think it'll probably kill him both. We'll see. No, wow, no, god, these guys are so defensively beefy. Rip. Nice. We did it. Nice. And 20 C stars. Hopefully, we get some good Emmy attacks there. Okay. Good. Nice. Alright, let's hopefully get some 
Use some big hits, bud. Come on, crit. Dang, wow, that sucked. We missed all of them, huh? So he has less HP for sure. Oh yeah, Dante's is quite a bit weaker than normal, it seems. Um, I'm gonna use this. Let's just try and get meter with everyone. Try and get some supers to go off. Okay. Boy, you're gonna keep hitting that, huh? Where have I seen this exact clown before? Can't even tell. But somewhere. Okay, well, we're gonna start with, um... This with you. Because we can do a full combo with you. Do some stuff. As much as you can. A bit of defense down. Thirty-seven. Very nice. Well, goodbye. Okay, Robin Hood's here. We can get any of them to have their super. Um, let's do. Let's do a full gill combo. Actually, well, we could. You can just do it yourself. We're gonna go. Some sick hundos. I like seeing a hundred percent critical rate. It's great. Guaranteed critical hits are always welcome. But at the same time, when there's a like a JRPG move that always does a critical hit, it's like, is there much point? I guess if critical hits ignore defense, maybe, but like otherwise when it's like, yeah, this move always crits, it's like, well then just make it the base damage. Unless there's some special crit properties, it just don't don't make too much sense. Anyways, we did it. So someone just left a comment on one of my videos, which was uh swimsuit Robin Hood saying, I thought we were going for summer, not Sumer, and that's strong. That's strong. Thank you for that. Good puns are always welcome. Absolutely. And I will say, every now and then, you guys make me laugh. Like a good laugh, a hearty chuckle. Not just not just a, you know, a smirk, but no, an actual like proper laugh. And I thank you for that. Alright. Oh, that's not the right one. Grab this. We just need to defeat more servants. Sounds good. We got a caster to deal with, huh? Wonder who that's gonna be. Let's get some repeated, repeated Mordred riding. That's that's not what I meant. Okay, whoopsie doopsie. Okay, um, we can switch out you for. Let's go with Seed and I. Now it's too much because you don't need this. Uh, you can just get rid of that. And, um, you know what? Let's, let's double up. Let's go with, um, go with these two. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. And let's go. I wonder who we're going to fight. Who mis which mysterious caster it's going to be. Looks like our escape was a success. Oh, but don't try to contact Caldia just yet. The enemy is likely using the signal to track us. So I think it's better if I continue to jam it for the time being. Oh, it's you. Can I ask you something? What is it, Master? You're not the Count of Monte Cristo. Wait, what? Remarkable. You are absolutely correct. I am the proud ven- I am not the proud vengeance seeker at all. And believe me, I was well aware of it during that battle. But how did you figure it out? He hates- Yeah, that's true. I was wondering about that. Now I see. I know I couldn't fool you for long, Master. I went to a bit of effort to change my speech patterns, you see. I wondered if I might have been giving too much away, but even so, you did well to notice. Good show. Alright, let's dispense with this disguise then, shall we? Oh, yeah! I believe this is the first time we've met since Camelot, Mr. Tanner. Holmes! 
Pity your well-read friend, Miss Carrier Light, isn't here to join us, but I suppose there's nothing for it now. How did you get here? Good question. Let me start from the beginning. You remember when we met at the Atlas Institute? Yes, it appears you do. Well, there's a reason I continue to race you from London to Camelot to Shinjuku. You didn't need my help to restore humanity. I suppose I could have offered advice, but so could others. But the same was not true for the incident that would happen afterwards. At the Atlas Institute, I was trying to find out if one thing in particular was possible. Whether or not a singularity could occur after humanity had been completely restored. Hmm? It turns out that such a thing was very possible indeed. Trihermes warned that if humanity were to move from being incinerated to being restored, uh, this distorted history would end up creating enormous remnants. Specifically, remnants of numerous powers that could have threatened the entire world but were wiped out by history playing out um, correctly. And to date, the counterforce, or perhaps something else, has worked to restrain or dispose of these remnants before they could pose a threat, but when humanity moves towards restoration, their power returns from the cracks of history. They're almost like hidden malware that tries to infect your computer when you go to reboot it. Anyway, Trihermes calculated that if a new remnant were to occur, it would be here in 1999 Shinjuku. Still, I don't know why, but there's one strong possibility. What's that? No, I'd better not say anything until I know for certain. Now, now, don't give me that look. Watson used to give me that exact look. At any rate, that is why I'm here. Now, what say we keep going, Mr. Tanner? Hmm. Oh yes, I still have to tell you the most important thing of all. I am not completely confident that I have laid bare all the mysteries Shinjuku hides. Words fail you, I see. Indeed, ordinarily, I would never divulge a theory that I was still in the middle of formulating. Doing so could cause you all to make errant predictions, potentially leading to grave mistakes. However, there is an exception to every rule, and this case is one such exception. The reason is simple. His fingerprints are all over it. Threads that should lead to him become tangled and twisted, eventually ensnaring you in a trap. And before you know it, he has you in his grasp, just where he wants you. However, there is one such thing one can see by observing a spider's nest from above. And if one takes too long to investigate, the wind could blow away the evidence like so much sand. Thus, I have chosen to leap into the spider's web head first. Perhaps that's what he wanted all along, for me to take the stage. I imagine if Miss Kyrie Lightwood here, she would be screaming right about now. At any rate, let me tell you exactly who we're up against. My nemesis. Demonic mastermind who disappears without a trace of evidence. He and his subordinates spin threads, each of which leads to the spider lying in wait. In order to reach him, I had to evade every one of these threads, sometimes disguising myself entirely. However, I soon learned that even this wasn't enough to find evidence that could convict him. In time, I began referring to him as the Napoleon of Crime. But his real name is James Moriarty. He and the Archer Shinjuku who first bonded with you when you first arrived here are one and the same. That is why I hesitated to reveal myself. Moriarty would never side with good and virtue. It must be some sort of plot. Regardless, I knew my presence would only endanger you. The moment I arrived in Shinjuku, I could sense that he was here. As such, there is little doubt he is similarly aware of me. Given how weak the good Moriarty's spirit origin is, I didn't think the same would apply to him, however. It seems that over the course of deducing his true name, he's managed to sniff out my presence. That being the case, there's no point in my pretending to be the Count of Monte Cristo. And now that I've removed my disguise, the game is well and truly afoot. No longer I am, a, am I a spectator, I am a participant. Which means that it is now only a matter of time before Moriarty and I face each other. In truth, I did all I could to remove any mention of him in Watson's writings. In particular, that was because, if possible, I wished to fight him on my own. But the other part is that I instructed Watson to write about him as little as possible. In terms of pure strength, there were surely countless servants who surpass him. No doubt there are also many who exceed him in charisma, especially those from the Age of Gods. But when it comes to evil charisma, devising fiendish plans that are carried out without requiring him to lift a finger, he's in a class of his own. Indeed, I feared what effect Moriarty might have on the world. Thus, I asked Watson to depict him as simply and austerely as possible. Now, here's the real problem. Moriarty claims to have split into good and bad personas. 
Bad one took power in true name and expelled the good one first. Is he literally going to be like, have you seen them in the same room, however? However, as I see it, this just doesn't add up. After all, I had sensed almost no traces of good from him. And yet the Atrif Shinjuku who protected you was sincere in his actions. When he saved you from the fearsome rider of Shinjuku, he did so with no regard for his own life. Nor did it seem like he did so because he had some scheme in mind that would guarantee his survival. Sheer dumb luck was the only reason he survived. When I realized that, I was truly at a loss. So, Archer is Moriarty. I thought he might be an imposter, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Which leaves us with a problem. He really is a good Moriarty. It's almost like one of those protagonists suffering from amnesia. That really is a problem! I'd never believe such a person could exist in this world. Still, while your life may not be in danger, I can't say approve of the way he let you get abducted. He let me what? Well, you would likely have been abducted at some point anyway. He knew I would rescue you too. Now then, I advise you to try not to hide anything from him. Feel free to tell him all about this talk. Thank you, I'm happy about that. I know you're concerned, but don't worry, he already knows everything that's happened. He knew you would get kidnapped, meet his other self, and that I would rescue you. He even knew that his true name would be revealed afterwards, although along with the doubts I still harbor. Naturally, he's never met me in person, but he is certain nonetheless. Even if he doesn't know his true name, he will have sufficient information to deduce it. That is something Moriarty would never fail to do. In that sense, we are very much alike. At any rate, once everyone is here, I have something else to tell you. Exactly what destroying the world really means. I, s I say, you there. Me? Yes, you, what a lovely face you have. I dare say your complexion is marvelous. You're the very picture of health. You must be highly nutritious. What? Now, should I go with rare? Well done. Ah, I can never... Oh, you're literally a cannibal. Steak, steak. The wealthy like me are meant to eat fine steaks. Commoners are supposed to eat swine. One of my stature can't eat swine. That would mean healthy people are more affluent than me. I see someone's at the end of the rope. Why is everyone here like this? There have been severe food shortages here ever since Shinjuku fell into this state. Of course, now there is one source of food that remains in abundance. After all, most good people here are dead and gone. Those that remain are either spellcasters or killers. So on that note, Mr. Tanner, I hope I can count on your help. Fortunately, there should, uh, these should be easier than King Lear. Of course, there are also a lot more of them. Was, uh, was Sherlock another guy that was added as playable later, meaning that that's the reason that he keeps putting on the disguise is because literally... He didn't have a playable model for him, so he puts on a disguise. I'm starting to be able to see it. Socialite's bodyguard, huh? That looks like the guy from uh, the Nut Shack. Which is a problem, because it is the Nut Shack. I actually watched that when it was on TV. I don't know why, but I did. Like, not for memes, but, like, actually, I was a child and it was on TV. Again, I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna start with, um, let's give you this. Let's give you this. Um, let's go. Um, should we get stars or just attack? Let's get, let's get stars. That'd be helpful. Especially if we get a bunch of Mordred stuff. Then we can do a big, big, dumb Mordred crit combo. He's done. Cat call. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's go. Like this. Because that'll kill first. No, it didn't actually. Okay. Alright, perfect. Um, 
Does this give C star drop rate? Reasonable phantasm gauge. Okay. Won't do that. Instead, we'll just go. Like this. Okay. Oh, you're level five now. Bet you didn't think that would happen anytime soon. Okay. Should I? Okay, well, he's in disguise, so it's going to be Dante's voice. Better stock up on weapons soon. I believe he should be around here. Huh? What are you looking at, punk? Ah, there you are. I see you're just as bad at disguising yourself as ever. Uh, how do you always see through it? Who? Doesn't matter how much you change your appearance if your gait remains the same. Ruffians, police officers, Yakuza, each has their own distinct way of walking. Mr. Tanner, allow me to introduce you. This is Mr. Kabaragi. He runs a general store here in Shinjuku. He has everything from demonic beast corpses to guns that even work on wraiths. Mr. Dante's here is one of my best customers. It's always a pleasure to see him. You should try to sound a little more earnest when you lie. I see what's going on. Today I'm here with someone who seems like they'd make a good hostage, so you were hoping to abduct them in order to threaten me, isn't that right? Wait, wait, what? Ah, can't put anything past you. When I've seen through it, I won't give you any trouble. Good. I'll take 20 of the usual, please. Got it. Uh, by the way, Mr. Dante's, I got a question for you. What that might be? What might that be? I think the end is almost here. Yes, it may well be. But that doesn't change what needs to be done, does it? You still have to collect, sort, and sell your wares. It may not be a proud profession. At times, you may have to sell your hands. But so what? What is there to be afraid of? You should be proud, Mr. Kabaragi. Just do what you need to do. I'll keep that in mind. By the by, I have some new demonic beasts in if you fancy that. You can make great pets. They're very friendly and not a bit picky when it comes to food. No thanks. What about you, young man? Interested in nice demonic beast? What kind of beast you got? A genetically modified chimera. I call it Super Chimera myself. But, what, you don't need one? Had a bad experience with one before? Uh, he was the one that sold those crappy ones. Thanks for waiting. Hey, you're you. Yes, we'll soon be meeting up with the others after all. I believe her hideout was somewhere around here. Ah, there we go. All right, shall we go get lectured? Lectured? But of course, Mr. Tanner. I'm afraid those two will be absurdly livid after spending the evening worrying so much about you. Mm, I see you now understand the situation we're in. Come on then, when let us be off. Are we going to get lectured? Got a Saint Quartz. Oh? Oh, this is new. Oh, wait, no. Didn't we get... Uh, did we not get this when... I think we might have actually got that when... um. Mash got hers. It's a rare thing to see. Uh, all right. Well... I'm going to take a break here because I'm actually tired. I'm like really tired. So I'm going to be taking a nap probably. And then when I come back, uh, I'm going to be playing some more and heading back to the roost where we're going to do some great detective work. We'll see you then for that, guys. Ciao.